It's been seven years since the first episode of Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland's masterpiece show, Rick and Morty. The show starring the drooling, dimensional jumping genius Rick and his sidekick grandson Morty has become one of the most popular shows around. Highly quotable and rewatchable, the series based on Doc and Marty McFly from Back to the Future has introduced many to the weird and wonderful humour of Justin Roiland, due in no small part to his fantastic voice talents for both characters. So, in 2018, when a game created and voiced by him was announced, we all knew it was going to be weird and downright hilarious. What I didn't expect though was an actually enjoyable action-adventure game as well. So let's find out why you should play Trover Saves the Universe. Trover Saves the Universe starts with a simple scene of two cute dogs playing on a field. For around two seconds until Glorcon, a giant blue eyeless monster, comes up and steals your dogs and shoves them in his eye holes. Yep, it's gonna get weirder as it goes along, trust me. We then cut to the protagonist's house, the owner of the two dogs, known as a Chair Orpion. A species of alien that lives entirely sat in a floating chair with a controller. We then get one of the simplest but best tutorials I've ever played. In front of you is a TV playing a drama, possibly a reality show, of two fellow chair Orpians arguing. One begs the other to just turn in their chair for the sake of their marriage, and as such the game prompts you to move the analog stick to do the same. As the couple continues to argue you are given more tutorial to start off this crazy adventure. You soon find out that Glorcon has used the power of your dogs to take over the universe, and according to your lawyer, you're liable for that. With the premise of the game firmly set, a strange small purple alien bursts into the house, one that has two creatures in his eyes called Power Babies. Well, if you thought the game was weird so far, this is where the real madness this begins. Is this is Trover, the titular character that must, them. along with you, save the nope. universe from Glorcon. I mean. To Rick and Morty fans, his voice is going to be instantly recognisable. His character, on the other hand, it, well, come... is a bit of a prick. Alright, listen, you're going to control me, man, because I'm tired, okay? I, you know how long it took me to find you? I'm exhausted. So you're in control... I'm like a remote control character now, all right? Trover shows you how to leave your house and start the quest to save your dogs. This can be entirely played in VR. I didn't have one when I started playing this game, but I have since gotten one, so I will discuss a little bit how the game plays in VR. First off, the controls without VR. You move Trover around with a standard controller and have a jump, dodge roll and attack button. You utilize Trover's lightsaber style weapon to take down your enemies. You threaten me, boy? I ain't for you. Fuck you, old man. I give up. You asked for this. Please stop. You're going to feel this tomorrow. To move the chair Orpion around, which is your first person point of view, you must teleport to special locations that you have Trover run over to. So, to put this simply, it is a third person action adventure game from an actual third person's perspective in first person. So. Okay, it's not that simple, but you get the idea from the footage. As for the VR controls, they are basically the same, except you're able to look around by moving your head rather than using the right analog stick. To be honest, although the VR is fun in this game, it makes very little difference to the game itself. So don't worry, you're not missing out on anything by playing it without a VR headset. You play the game by running through colourful, crazy worlds, fighting weird enemies throughout, including ones that look like small versions of Glorcon that also sound like him, which is basically Rick's voice. The interactions with enemies and characters is where the game shines. The script work here is possibly the funniest in gaming. I say script work, but it's probably more unscripted as I'm pretty sure Justin Roiland just made all of this dialogue up on the spot. Remember the interdimensional cable episodes of Rick and Morty? This is basically an entire game of that. 
random character interactions discussing how much of a piece of shit you are and Trover are that can go on for, well, I have no idea. I sat and watched these two idiots for about 15 minutes and it just kept going, both of them chatting hilarious nonsense the whole damn time. You're up against some fucking giant wall. Good, try to jump on it. You can't. There's collision detection on every fucking part of this wall. Shit, there's an airplane. Hold on, hold on. There's a fucking airplane. You hear yeah, that? I hear it. Must be coming from Burbank Airport. They changed the name to Hollywood Airport. So that's why it's so fucking busy now. Hey, listen, man. You rub my asshole with your tongue. Whoa, yeah, I will. Got a fucking <laughs> Just kidding. Green power, I'm not doing baby. that. What? Come on. As you venture through the world, you keep finding these ad libbed conversations, normally just between Justin Roiland and, well, Justin Roiland, and work your way to save your dogs from the evil Glorcon. Along the way, you also discover more secrets of the universe, meeting multiple characters who guide you and Trover through a quest across the universe. And every single character you meet is genuinely hilarious, with the game just getting weirder and stupider as it goes along. What the hell is wrong with you? Shit, look, I'm sorry, man. Okay, okay. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Stop messing with my goddamn duck. Thankfully, the gameplay matches the quality of the humor here as well. With tight controls and a creative mindset for a 3D action platformer, the gameplay never really gets dull. Even without the humor, this would still be an enjoyable, although short, game. Clocking in at around four hours, this one won't really hold your attention for long and there is not much reason to replay the game except for finding all the green power babies to further level up Trover. Right, However, let, let, the game didn't let, need to, to be it. long. The level of creativity on display oh, here is oh, through the I'm, roof, I'm, making I'm you laugh throughout and never here. getting frustrating I'm or boring in the gameplay. Hell. Spoilers now as I will discuss the ending of, a... of the game. After fighting your way through the universe to save your dogs, you finally reach Glorcon the evil bastard who is using the dog's insane powers to mix the universe together, making the levels also mix together in some crazy and creative ways. You start fighting Glorcon, taking on waves of enemies he throws at you, and as you fight each stage, Glorcon throws more and more obstacles at you until you finally get to bring him down. Only problem is, in killing him, you literally eradicate the entire universe, including yourself. That's right, you literally killed the whole universe trying to save your dogs. You end up in heaven along with every single other character in the game, including the ones you personally killed. The Glorcons, the giant Glorcon, the Supreme Master, and every other weirdo you met along the way is here. It's a bizarre and hilarious ending that was a genuine surprise at the very last minute. You get to explore heaven, chatting with everyone, and then you can go back to your ship and take off back to whichever level you like. There is also a small piece of free DLC content that is kind of a bunch of fetch quest style puzzles and a few mini games thrown in too. It doesn't add much to the game, but it was a fun extra to come back to and I experienced it solely in VR as well. The humour is very much still intact for the DLC and even references that it is DLC and that it was free, so you can't complain that there isn't much to it. And well, that's pretty much it. A short and simple game, but one of the funniest ones I've ever played. If you enjoy Justin Roiland, Rick and Morty, or just weird humour in general, you will have a great time with this game. Even if it's short, it's still definitely worth picking up on the many systems it is currently available for. If you have VR or not, this game plays great and is one of the more creative games to come out in the last few years. Hopefully we can get some more games from Justin Roiland, because if this one is anything to go by, the guy has got some great ideas for both gameplay and story, and his voice acting is always going to make anything he's in fucking hilarious. Honky? That's where you rip someone's head off and you just kick it around. Just kick it around like some... Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh Jesus Christ! There it goes! Wow, that, that gave me a startle. This must have taken a long time to animate all this. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Phil. I'm the creator of the Pixel Tavern. If you've been enjoying the channel so far, please subscribe for more videos soon and click like to help boost this video through YouTube's awful algorithm system. To anyone who takes their time to check out these videos, I really appreciate your time and it's great to see so many new subscribers recently. If you want to see more, there are more videos on screen now as always. And until the next video, everyone, thank you very much for watching.